CBS World News, Bob Trout speaking. And again, we bring you the available reports, all of them from German sources, on what the Berlin radio calls the invasion. There is still no Allied confirmation from any source. Correspondents who rushed to the War Department in Washington soon after the first German broadcast was heard were told that our War Department had no information on the German report. There's been no announcement of any sort from Allied headquarters in London. The first news of the German... Well, hello, YouTube fans. It's another Saturday. And, yes, we're hoping this video turns out better because I got a new phone. I haven't reached a super YouTube, YouTuber status yet, so we're still doing this with the phone. And uh, since it's Saturday, it's truck day. And there's Sean. Say hi to your fan club. Lost a Yeah. So uh, we're down our buddies uh, working on what's left of the truck. As you can see, we got it down to a, an engine and a frame. And uh, we're going to take some associated pieces off. Haul them back to the house and rebuild them. Now, the engine you've seen tore apart in previous videos, that's our spare motor, I guess we're going to call it. So this is the motor we're going to rebuild. This is actually the one we're going to put in the truck when it's done. Um, let me spin you around and I'll give you the blow by blow here in case you're late to coming. But yes, we're, we're, we're even decked out in a little bit of World War II gear because it's cold out here. It's like 25. Well, this is nuts. But the sun's out, so it's not terrible. Let me spin you around here. Do this live. Oh, look at that. The new phone does it hot too. That's great. Huh? So the new phone lets me spin it around hot. So, Skippy's are on. Oh, that'll make doing videos a whole lot easier. So, this is the motor. Same as the other one. But this one's in one piece. Sean hasn't got to this one yet. So, we're going to, hopefully, we're going to pull that distributor and cross our fingers that it's the right one, since the one we rebuilt last weekend ends up being the wrong one. So, we're going to pull that distributor out of there. Uh, we, you see in the video where I did the starter? Well, we got to do that starter too. So we're going to rip that starter out. And guess what? Uh, the truck's negative ground. Is it? Or positive ground, rather. Good. Because that's going... Oh, uh, no. You know what? That might be hot. Well, well that's going straight to the starter. You're supposed to look at this and this. Okay. Because this is your coil and whatever. Yeah, this is the hot side of the coil. And this is the ground side of the coil, and the ground's going to the distributor. Does that mean it's negative ground? Or positive ground? I think. If the negative side of the coil goes to the distributor, it's positive ground? Or no, it's <clears> negative <throat> ground. I would think it's negative ground. Yeah, because the negative, the negative coils... Is going to the negative side of the distributor. Okay. So it's negative ground. Okay. Big shocker. Well, you don't know how many people had their fingers in this thing either. I mean, this is the better engine of the two, but... So, anyhow, now that we figured that out, if you happen to know all that detail, by the way, you can drop a comment down in the in the comment section because we don't know what we're doing. <laughs> we have no clue what we're doing. I don't think anybody else does either. We're just guessing our way through this. <clears throat> so, anyhow, we're going to pull the distributor. We're going to pull the starter. We'll rebuild both of those, hopefully. We're going to pull that carburetor off and rebuild it although we do have a new old stock carb all ready to go but we're going to pull that one off and rebuild it what else are we doing skippy is that it yeah at least down here yeah at least we're down here so but yeah this is uh what's left of the one we're gonna actually resurrect now this is the one we got off the museum um, well, not the museum. Well, we got it off of Midwest Military, but it came from a museum. Yeah, they got it from a museum that gave up on it. So the original truck is still back here, if I can meander back here. And what everything that's left on his other truck is basically scrap. <clears throat> so if anybody wants any CCKW parts, let us know because we got a whole truck sitting here. So. That's the front. Obviously, the motor is gone because we got the motor at the house. But there's a steering shaft, and I think we're going to use that tank. No, we're not going to use that tank. So that's we got an extra tank. But it's banjo axles. So all this is basically going to the junkyard. It's going to get all cut up, and and, and don't 
unless you really, really want a project for a cab, you don't want to take cab. That cab's junk. But there's a hood and both rear axles. So if anybody wants any CCKW parts, let us know. Grab my email, shoot me an email, and uh, we'll make you a hot smoking deal. But yeah, that's uh, that's basically all scrap. That's we're not gonna do anything else with that. So and the rest of this stuff isn't ours. Although we're kind of wishing the Mac was ours, but it's not. So we'll go back over here with Happy Boy who's pulling off what looks to be the carburetor. Yeah, this one's significantly in better shape. Well, we're going to have to put a bumper on this one because somebody bumpered the bumper. I got a bumper. Oh, you got a bumper? bumper. He's got a bumper. Sean's got everything. Uh, and you can see the frame on this one's in significantly better shape. I think I'm going to this whole thing. Well, yeah. I, wouldn't, I don't know if I'd do the whole thing. To be honest with you, I just put some rust converter on it. It ain't bad. I mean, somebody's already done something because it's in primer. Yeah, but... I mean, comparatively, this thing's in really nice shape. We got all new tires, new wheels. What is that thing? Huh? Is that part of the brakes? That's the Hydrovac. That's the Hydrovac? Why does that Hydrovac look different from the one you got? Because that's an original Hydrovac. Well, what's mine, yours? Mine is a modern replacement Hydrovac. Oh, so that's an honest to God World War II one. Correct. Oh, well, wouldn't it make sense to save that one instead of using the one you got? I don't know. It depends on how bad that was. I mean, because other than some hoses, it doesn't look terrible. It's just a big vacuum tank, isn't it? Supposedly, the one that I have is... Is a better one? Is a better heavy-duty one. Okay. You can see everything's still got... You can see that. See, it's still got GMC on it. The old script. That's still got GMC on it. So, we're fairly confident this is, this is for the most part, unscathed. Squeeze, boy. Squeeze. Yeah, I don't want to squeeze. Just whack it off. You're going to replace it anyway. Huh? Put a new Carter key in it. Just cut it oh. off. If you can't get it up out of there, just cut it off. Oh, see? You took the nuts off. No. Yeah, don't take not, your nuts off first. No, the, the nuts are right here. Oh, yeah, standing well, behind. The nut, yeah, the nuts are making a video. Well, I didn't realize this was a Carter key until I... Want a, want, a, want a phalange or two? Yeah. Here, I'll give you a phalange. Come on, wiggle it. Wiggle it just a little bit. You're not very good at beating things off, are you? No, I'm not. Alright, well, we're going to keep going on this. There's going to be more to follow at Sean's, but, uh, yeah, I'll catch you up later. Oof! Damn, well, if I fall over... Alright, we're back at Sean's. Um, I guess we're going to rebuild a distributor. And since I didn't shoot this last week, I'll shoot it this week. But, uh, yeah. We're going to play with all kind of crazy stuff. Yeah, so here's the end of the last one. What? Oh, carburetor? Yeah. And here's the one with the ball. It's missing some brackets, but... New old stock carburetor? Is there a tag on this thing? Huh? Yeah, yeah Zenith. Take a couple, that one's missing a couple of brackets. And then this is the zenith we took off. It's missing this stuff. So I'm going to swap this over. 
We're gonna do this distributor first. Let me get you set up, get you zoomed in. And, oh, uh, oops. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. Sure, I know how to do this. Um, we'll do a distributor. Okay, so we've positioned as much as we can position. We're gonna try this again. So I'm gonna point you toward the distributor. We're gonna see how far we get on this one because the last one we didn't make it very far. There are some gotchas if you're gonna rebuild one of these distributors. So I'll try to go through that. So let me get you pointed at the distributor here. All right. Yes, I have my tripod. So, oh look, stuff. So first we're gonna do is we're gonna pop this off of here if I can find the right size wrench. So this is the ground wire from the coil, which we can essentially turn out. Now I already know for a fact that I want to keep this wrench handy because I need to take this loose. Eventually we're going to pop that all the way off. Um, you've got a flathead screwdriver? So we're going to pop this cap off of here. Uh, medium one. That doesn't do me any good. Yeah, that thing. So we're going to pop a distributor cap off. And this becomes superfluous junk. And I want to tell you, in a rebuild kit, you pretty much get everything. So like these wings, these snaps that hold the distributor cap on, you're going to replace these, these wings. So the only thing you got to keep is these mounting screws. And all the rest of this is going to get replaced. So here's the cap. It's a cute little cap, isn't it? So we can get rid of that because that's going to go away. Now inside of here, we got the condenser and the point, the breaker points. And we're going to take these out of here too. So let me get these out of here real quick. So we're going to take this screw. And we're going to pump this screw out of here. Now this this is one of them screws you're going to want to save because I don't think they give you, they might give you this in a kit, I don't remember to be honest with you. And then there's a screw over here to take the condenser off. And we're going to take it off. And I believe they give you all this in a kit. But I don't precisely remember. So and then down in here you'll see there's a nut that all this stuff connects to. And if you're lucky, you can do what I'm doing. Since I twist it on the outside. And get this off of here. And this is gonna be a little bit of a long video because this is involved. Well, it's a little involved. It's not hard. It's just, a, oh, hey, turn off your music. Before I, before I get yelled at by YouTube. I don't want to get yelled at. Yeah, I turned it down. YouTube and their algorithm, if they hear it, I'll get yelled at. I'll turn it off. Yeah, I know. It sucks to do that, but blame YouTube, not me. Come on, come out of here. Come on, come out of here. Come on, come out of here. It's being obstinate. Hmm? Oh, my nuts trapped. Okay. Are they chewed up like the other one? There's the breaker points. So, there's your breaker points. That's what makes and breaks your spark. There's the condenser. Mm -hmm. And then get the little nut out of here. Yeah, it's not a Watch. And then these two nuts on the outside, where the negative wire went, if you just take these off of here. Oh, I'm glad they give you a new one of these. Well, this is messed up. This distributor's had a rough life. That's why I bought everything. So you take this off of here. And then, if you look on the inside, 
this just pops out of here like this. And then this little plastic doodad thing pops out of that. Now, all this you can get rid of because they give you all new of this. So, just set it off the side. This one's broke. You can see it's all cracked up and nasty. So, luckily, they give you all that new. But I'm going to set all this stuff off to the side. So, that's what you're left with. Now, here's the fun part. This cap's got to come off next. Okay? And <clears throat> this is this cap they give you in the kit. So, it's out on here like that. Okay? But, the sad part about this is to get all the rest of this stuff out of here, you got to get this drive gear off. This is the part that sits down in the motor. Okay? Well, I don't know if I can show you but it's probably going to be pretty hard to see. But if you look right there, there's a drive pin. you got to drive that pin out of there, and then this gear will lift off of here. The last time we did this, we had, well, we did it, but it wasn't very successful. Um, this pin's hard to get out of here. We ended up drilling a whole couple of holes. We drove it like a real small hole, and then we drove another, shut another drill bit through it. And then we finally were able to beat it out of there. And you don't have to worry about saving this pin because they give you a new pin in the kit. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna see if we can get this off of here, and I'll bring you back once this pin's out of here because this is gonna probably gonna take a little bit. Uh, probably not as long as we did on the first one because we've been here already. But we're gonna try to get this pin out of here. And once we get this pin out of here, we'll be able to look in here. And the reason we had to stop on the last one is this driver right here. Well, we got a new one. So, here's the new one. The downside, this is the correct one for a military distributor. So, you open this little doodad up. There's the doodad they give you. Okay, so that is what's sitting in here. Kind of like that. Okay. Well, the one we opened up last week, evidently was a civilian distributor because the shaft that goes down inside of here, right there, the one on the distributor, that shaft was way bigger than that. So we stopped. <laughs> and we went down and looked at this truck. And it looks like, looks like we might be all right. Just comparatively comparing. But yeah, looks like we might be okay. As a matter of fact, before we get too far, and I said we got to take that pin out of there, we're going to do something real quick. But anyhow, that's, that's the one you need for the military distributor. As a matter of fact, since it looks like this one's the military distributor, I'll put this up here. But that's the numbers on the military distributor. Okay. Now, we know we looked at the other one a little bit too late, but after we got it apart and figured out that this, this wasn't going to work, we looked at the numbers on the one we had last week and found out the numbers were different. So we're going we're gonna to try something here. Remember I told you this, these are all going to get changed? So this screw, this screw, oops, and this screw you can take out, which we're going to do right now. Well, I say we're going to do it. We might be going to do it. These are pretty gummed up. But this is what holds that plate in there. You want, you want this wire wheel? Uh huh? You want wire well, I don't know yet. Now I know these screws you have to save. They don't give you new ones to go back in. So we're going to do our best to try to save these. What the hell's the head? That's what she said. Just what I like to do, I'll keep this together and I'll set it down here together so I know how to put the new ones on. Because they give you these new in the kit. You know what? We might get lucky and not have to take that gear off of there. Huh? So we might get lucky and not have to take that gear off of there. bottom gear? Yeah, these military ones might be different. Here. Why don't you clean, why don't you use this clean thread? Well, here. Fuck that. Fuck that. Better. Turn down the 
down. Every once in a while, Sean's pretty handy. Sniper, you're going to find your hands up. Hold your hand, yeah, that's right. There's always got to be one. No, this one doesn't want to come out. Oh, story of my life. Seriously? Well, just to forewarn you, these trucks are 80 years old, so these things have 80 years, 80 years of crud on them. That's what you just saw me fighting. All right, so that being said, will this just pop out of here? Am I going to get that lucky? Oh, hey, Pat, we don't got to take the gear off. Oh, uh, no, no, we got to take the gear off. That was an extra plate. See, the civilian one didn't have that plate. So the civilian one didn't have that plate. Yeah, we got to take the gear off. All right, so once you get that plate out, you look down in there, see there's a nut there and a nut there. Oh, right there. So you got to get them nuts off. And to do that, you got to take this gear off. So we're going to go do that, and then we'll come back. All right, so after some difficulties, we finally got that pin beat out. So we got that. Always with the negative waves, Moriarty. We got that gear off. And once you get that pin beat out of there, it goes on there like that. Once you get that pin beat out of there, you got to save that. Then you can take this shaft and push this shaft out. And the rest of this comes out like so. And you're left with this. And we'll put that off to the side. And now we're left with that. And now what we got to do is take these two nuts off. If I can figure out what size they are. Three. Oops, seven sixteenths. Nope, they're not seven sixteenths, and they're not three eighths. What size were these things? I have no clue. I don't remember either. Okay, they're going to be this size. Oops. So we'll take this off. Oh, wait a minute. So, I forgot this last time. There's little hold tab, hold down tabs on these things. But I forgot the last time. Seriously? Yes, sir. Yes, dear. Oh, and there's these little springs right here. You gotta get them little springs off. And just pry out.
sure it is. Trust me, you Now you can take this plate off. Maybe. Come on, come on. There. There's 70 years of crap on there. That goes away. And then this is the piece we had the trouble getting to the last time. So that's what your breaker points rides on. It got flats and then highs and then flats and then highs. So that's what your breaker points rides on. And then you got the little throw out weights. We'll get this all cleaned up. So we'll get all this cleaned up and get it all hosed off. And we'll come back and we'll put it back together. Yeah. You took my damn thing. You took my towel. What? You took my towel. Um. But that's it. That's disassembly. Okay, we got everything cleaned up. Now it's time for assembly. Now, I don't know that you have to do this, but once again, I don't know what I'm doing, so we're just winging it. But we did check to make sure this gets right. Uh, no, but we can do that. I so think you can just give me that right now. So I got these wings cleaned up. And they go back on here. You know what I mean? Was he wheeled down? I did. Oh, okay. Brake cleaned them. Was he wheeled them? So give me that new cleaning. In the original packaging. In the original packaging. Now, I don't know that you got to do this, but I'm going to do this anyway. And it's going to help for first startup since this is going to be a brand new motor. Now you're not going to goop it up on this part. <laughs> so at least I'll have something to turn on. So. This is going to go on here. Look at that, huh? Like, like it was made to do that. Amazing when you got the right part. Amazing. So now we take this. It's kind of hard to goof this up because it only goes on here one way. back on there like that. Why does that feel like it's not it's not down there all the way? Now it's on there all the way. Okay. So now we'll put our little keepers back on here. So 
We'll take our nuts. They didn't give me any nuts today. Nothing really matters. spot threads. Tighten these down. I'm making sure that I can put the keepers back up on the flats. I'll take a little flathead screwdriver. And put the keepers back. Okay, and in the kit they give you new springs. So we'll put the new springs on. What's wrong with you? You're being obstinate. Back to your home. Don't you want to go home? the other spring. There should be another spring in here somewhere. There it is. 
like that. So we got that all back together. Feels pretty good to me. And that's the end of that. So we'll put a little bit of goo on the shaft. And once again, this is just for startup. We cleaned up. You can see we cleaned up everything. It's a damn sight better than it was when we pulled it out here. Hey. Now we take this and we shove this back down in here. Get that back down in there. Now we take this. I'm not gonna remember how this goes. It goes like this. And did they give you any screws for this? <laughs> I think they gave you new screws for everything else. Yeah, they did. Where's that? Right there. Now we'll take this, we'll try to get the hole lined up, which is the worst part of this deal. Get that one started. That should make these ones line up. I remember I told you these clips, they gave you new ones. So if I remember right, and this is why I kept these together right here. So now I can look at this and I can see that this goes this way, that goes that way. So it tells me I gotta put this in here like this. That goes up there like this. Which means this goes It doesn't that look right? I don't know. That does not look right. Well, no, it doesn't look right. I guess not. Well, that's all that came off of there. I got news for you. Either. Them, them, I took him I purposely took him caps off of her exactly the way they're supposed to go. This sure don't look right. And they're both the same. Okay. That's the way they're going back on there. Doesn't look right to me, but where's my flathead? That's not a flathead. Oh, I'm funny. Best place to hide something. Oh, 
That doesn't look right. I'm betting those are wrong. But that's the way I took them off, so that's the way I'm putting them on. That absolutely does not look right. That can't be right. Two of them in there, so that's that's enough to hold it. So, what else is left? So we need this doodad. We need this doodad. So that broken piece that was in there, they give you a new one. So this piece comes with a new rod. It goes down in there. You'll notice it's cut, so it doesn't spin. And it goes right through that hole. So that goes in there. And then they should give you all new nuts. That goes there. At least I think that goes there. And it goes the other way. That goes there. That goes there. That goes on there. screws down tight and there should be two more of those somewhere one goes out here one it goes in here There you go. So that's back in there. And then, what's left? Oh, I'll give it this little piece of felt that goes in the top of here. And then the distributor or the condenser. Goes this way. Straighten out the wire. Where's the screw? I think this is the screw. They give you a new screw. They give you a new. They give you a new point screw. But they don't give you. A, oh yeah, they do too. That it? That the one? Oh, 
this off because they made it a circle, so we got to take this nut back off of here, this goes back on here like this, just tuck that inside, and we're going to do points. Nut back on. Maybe. Yep, there we go. Now I'm just going to start that nut right there. And then your points, it's got this oblong hole. Okay, and then this this hole here. So this big hole goes over top of that extra adjustment. And then that hole right there is this shaft. So just put that down there like that. Hook the point contacts. Then we'll take our wrench. We'll tighten them down ever so gingerly. Take our condenser wire, just stuff it down in here. Get it out of the way from everything. And we get our final screw, which should be this little fat sucker. there and I'm going to pre pre preliminarily set my points so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this on a, on a high spot and then what you do is you turn this screw I'm going to make sure this is a little snug this one right here and then you turn this until you get just a little bit of gap in there that really you take like a matchbook cover or something it's supposed to be like 20 thousands or at least it was on older cars skip you'll have to check the book it should be like 20 thousands i'm just gonna put a little gap in it and we'll tighten that down so it's gonna be kind of hard to see but you notice there's a gap in there now and if I turn it away, you see how it touches? And every time it hits that, you see you can see it breaking and making, breaking and making, breaking and making, breaking and making. That's your point gap. See that? Kind of neat, huh? Alright, that's it. We gotta put this gear back on here. Lube. 
we'll put this gear back down on the hill. There should be a new pin. We'll put the pin in the hole. Did I get it? Nope, it's still too high. Yep, they're still too high. Oh, no, it's still too low. Can't see. Put our pin in the hole. Hold on, get in there. This pin's like the devil. Can't see. Well, all things left is put that pin in that hole, and yeah, well, we're done. Watch an expert do it. Oh. An expert? Put to sleep. I think that's where you're probably have to tap it in there with a hammer. Start tapping, yeah, because you can. Uh, I'll take my glasses and walk over there. Yeah, I can't see either. I got bad eyes. It's got to be close. I think if you took it and tapped on it, it would go right in. Probably will happen. Look at it. I'm gonna tap it. I'll just sit right here and tap it down. Shooting YouTube videos is tougher than it looks. This gear is the whole devil of the thing. All the rest of it, as you can see, is pretty easy. This gear stinks. So now, when you put that in there, see how it sticks out either side? Yeah, I'll put it this way. And it's got a little stick out on either side. So now you got to mushroom and mends out a little bit so that that stays in place. I don't exactly know how we're going to do that yet. Put on the vise, I guess, and hit it with a punch. I guess. But that's essentially it. That's one rebuilt distributor. Take that screw up because that's in there. And these are backwards. I knew these were going to be backwards. I said that when I put them on there. I said that was going to be backwards. Screw it up. Yep, I think so. Although I took them off that way. That's exactly the way they came off.
don't give a shit what the book says. Huh? I don't give a shit what the book says. I don't give a shit what the book says. Because that has got to go that way. Or else it doesn't hold that cap on. How's it going to hold that cap on like that? It can't be. If that goes on that way, this has got to go in this way. Because that's what they put the cutout in the distributor for, was that. But they're backwards. It's got to go this way. Because that's what holds the cap on. Do you want me to dig out the other one? Or do you want the book? I saved the other ones. That's exactly how I took the other ones off. Hmm. You'd think it would go that way, but it doesn't. Something to skew them all together. Or am I just looking at it cockeyed? No, you're looking at it the right way. All right. I'm wrong. I don't know how, but I think I'm wrong. That's a problem with these sparkulators. And that cap moves on there just like that. That clip has to go that way. Once it goes, aha. Okay. I see, said the blind man. I was right, but I was wrong. I was right and wrong at the same time. Okay, so here's a trick. They go facing down, not up. I don't know. I didn't say words. I don't know. I didn't say words. I'll be the first one to admit I don't know. Neither do I. I know less than you know. Oh, that's scary. And why are we rebuilding a truck? Because somebody said this would be fun. Uh -huh. Somebody lied. So they're going that way. Now that we've taken out the mystery of the cap hold down things. It does go this way. Screw in here and kid. Yeah, for God's sake, don't lose that pin. You get a beat in. Now, the big cap goes on here, or the big rotor rather, and then the cap, once we get a new one, goes on there. That does not look out bad. And this pushes up on here, this 
pushes up on here. Feet the pin together, and you got a brand new do 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 how about that, Buckwheat? There you go. And then the only thing we didn't do was replace the grease cup. Oops. This has got one on it. We tried to get that sucker out of there, and it's got 80 years of crap in it. So we'll save this for the other distributor, but that would go there. Oops. Yeah, but he's got. Got the grease cups in here, so just screw it on there. All you gotta do is fill this back up full of grease, clean it up, make sure it's in there. And there you go. Well, yeah, look at that. You got a little sparkulator action. Too bad it wasn't why I cast it. Put your tongue here. Yeah. Alright, so now we just gotta beat that pin down. There you go. So, and on that note, we were going to try to play with the carburetor, but I don't think we're going to do that today. And the, these little pieces. Are That's here. stuff I just I reuse stuff off the old one. Okay. So these were the the new hold downs for the underneath the cap, and I just reused the old ones, which was neither here nor there. Uh, and then that's the same thing. These are the nuts that were off of that. I didn't. Re I reused the old ones, and these are the lock washers, but I reused the old ones. Didn't hurt them. All the rest of this is Garbanochki. Just drop it there. Garbanochki. So, just to give you an idea. That's all the stuff. Now, we're going to hold on to all this crap. Just It's one of them things that's better to have. And not a while. Then need it and not have it. I'm gonna hold on to it till I get the other one rebuilt. When I get the other one rebuilt, then I'll probably crash all this. That's it. That's it. That's that's one whole kit. Actually, it wasn't. It wasn't one single solitary kit. Yeah, it was actually a couple. So. Yeah, it was like three kits. All right, just, and this that, was just that little segment was a half an hour. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. Not a short video, but. I'm sure I'm not yeah, and we'll do that off camera. Um, it's just a matter of beating a, beating a mushroom in them so the pin doesn't come up. But I think we're going to call it a day there. I think the audience, if they're going to tackle trying to rebuild a distributor, is uh, smart enough to figure out how to whack a pin flat. Well, I mean, we followed the instructions, said to just knock it out, and it wasn't yeah. just knock it out. Yeah, don't believe the TM manual. Don't believe the TM manual. The TM manual tells you to file this edge down and file this edge down and then take a punch and punch it. Yeah, it doesn't work that way. But three step bits we did. We need to drill it out. We beat on it, beat on it, beat on it. We did exactly what the TM manual said to do. And pins weren't coming out of here. We ended up starting with a little teeny drill bit and then stepped it up one size and then stepped it up two sizes. And we still felt pretty good about it because we were way smaller than the pin. But once we got to the third size and then whacked it, then it started to come out. And we got it out far enough, we grab it with a pair of vice grips and pull it the rest of the way out. But yeah, that was fun. It's a good time. This is supposed to be fun, remember? Yeah, right. Yeah, this is what we do for fun. Right? You too. All right, uh, I think that's it. We'll play with the carb another day. The carb's going to be easy. We're just taking some levers off and putting them on the new old stock one. Um... I already did the starter, so you know, we already did one video on the starter, so I guess that's doing another video on the same starter. Well, I gotta buy another, another kit. I yeah, gotta, gotta buy another, another starter rebuild kit anyway. Alright, so on that note, that's another glorious Saturday of rebuilding things on the World War II truck. Get up with CCKW. Rebuild it. It's fun, they say. Seven years into this? Mm -hmm. Where's the fun? When, when did we start having fun? Uh, I, I don't know yet. Yeah. All right, so. Anyhow, one of my more detailed videos. Sorry about the length, but that's what you go through when you do these things. Um, if you have any questions, <coughs> oh, Rona, drop them down in the comments. I'll 
drop my email down here someplace. Up here, my email address. You can feel free to email me. Um, anybody want CCKW parts that we showed you earlier in the video? He, he's like, we'll make you a deal just to get it out of the garage or out of the yard. What else? Well, I'd like to hopefully we can get to get the carburetor done. I don't want to do the carburetor. Dang, what time is it? Two o'clock. I gotta get home sometime. Sunday. Or no, it's Saturday. Saturday. I'd like to get home Saturday. Yeah, well, I'd like to have all this shit done so we can go down next next Saturday and start the end. Well, the carburetor is gonna be easy. Okay. We gotta get that finished first. Yeah, exactly. I'm not gonna make. I'm not gonna show the carburetor. We're just taking levers off and putting levers on. Couple external levers. Yeah, yeah, a couple external levers is all we're doing. No sense of doing that. So yeah, hopefully next weekend we're starting the engine that you seen us pull the stuff off of this morning. We're gonna see. Uh, all right. Anyhow, uh, somewhere up here should be my channel. If you want to see more videos, somewhere down here, somewhere should be a playlist. Um, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Anything else? Some interesting stuff. Oh, yeah, he's trying a new product. All this, by the way, not sponsored. Yeah. Yeah, remember how dirty that? Yeah, look at that, huh? So, get that little thing. Stop. This is like, should be after the credits, but we'll show you this real quick. He got a he got a line, out. yeah. He got a line on some rust oleum stuff that's supposed to take rust off. We got it while we were out, and uh, wow, it's already doing a number on it already. It says thirty minutes. <laughs> I really think you could clean that up. I mean, that made a giant difference. Yeah, here, rust oleum rust dissolver. So it's like a gel kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, there. spray on, clean the surface, wait 30 minutes. And, uh, yeah, just from what's in there? Holy crap. Actually, I got the hint from, uh, uh. Oh, don't say another YouTuber. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, he runs a store. That's Boss Man Wiley, I think is how you pronounce it. And, uh. If I can he, find his website, I'll he's put actually, it down in the He's actually fixing the CCKW up to. Oh, another smart guy like us. <laughs> Hope he knows what he's doing, because we know. Not terrible. Oh, I see paint coming through. That's a step in the right direction. I better watch. I'll put a glove on it. Oh, yeah. Don't make the mistake Sean did and get that stuff on your hands. Sean made the mistake and was, while he was spraying it, got it on his hands. Oh, he was crying like a little whiny. Oh, Evidently, before, it's an ouchie. Before, you couldn't even see the... Timing marks? Timing marks. Now yeah. you can see the timing marks. It's just 30 minutes. So there you go. <coughs> <coughs> All right, we'll call it a day there. Yeah. See y'all. Yeah, this is, this is like not the ethyl, ethyl, ethyl whole bad shit. Hey, hey, hey. You're the mixed audience. Huh? Yeah, the next audience. Yeah, okay. I think I'm gonna let that soak a little while longer. Yeah. Don't put it in a container you want to keep. So, all right, like, share, subscribe, hit your notifications. See you later, YouTube. Foster Languini.